My name is Shayna. I'm 33 years old. I work as a CPA. I live with my parents, my husband, my two-year-old daughter. I was diagnosed with LGMD when I was 10 years old. It's been about 23 years. We didn't want to accept it. There's no cure for it. There's no treatment for it. You don't want to accept it. You just want to go out and look for whatever hope you have. She was very athletic as a young child, and then slowly she started becoming slower and slower until we took her to the doctor. When she went to preschool too, the teacher would tell me that all the kids, when they sit down on the floor, it's very hard for Shana to get up from the floor. He said, these are growing pains. It will go away when she grows older. But it never did, it got worse. She was accepted at the medical school in uh, University of Miami, but due to her disability, she couldn't go there and she attended a school locally so we could be with her even while she was going to college. The progression of the disease, it's very unpredictable. There could be times where I just rapidly deteriorate and then there could be times where it's relatively stable for a long time and they couldn't understand really why, but it was also relatively new for them doing all the research that they were starting to do. And about 20 years after my initial diagnosis, genetic testing had somewhat advanced, and that's when I was diagnosed with LGMD type 2C. With LGMD, you need assistance with everything getting up from a chair, using the bathroom, taking a shower, preparing meals, you know, even if I want to just get a snack. I can't get upstairs without my husband helping me, so I only go up to my room at night just to sleep, and then I spend the whole day downstairs. I can't drive. There's a ramp in the garage to get in and out of the house because I can't go up and down steps. There's a stair lift to get up to my bedroom. I have a lift chair in our living room. There's handicap bars in the shower. The loss of strength has impacted every relationship I have. I can't be as social as I'd like to. I can't go out with friends. And it's just little obstacles also that you don't realize. For example, if nobody's home, I don't want to drink any liquids because who's going to help me get to the bathroom? When you have hope of upcoming clinical trials or just, just the hope that somebody's looking into this, that somebody's trying to make a difference, that's when you feel like there is a support system. But when you hear that there is no treatment, you feel like I don't matter or it's just hopeless. Everything with this disease is kind of a race against time because you don't know how fast your condition is gonna deteriorate. You don't know if a year from now, if you're still gonna be able to be walking. That's what worries me the most is that the future is so uncertain. As my mom and my husband are aging, I don't know how long I'm going to be able to depend on them to, to take care of me, and then what am I going to do in the future? I worry about her a lot. Sometimes when I am sick, I always think, what if something happens to me? What's her life going to be? You know, her mom is like picks her up and takes her to the bathroom to just shower and everything, and we both are getting to that age that, you know, what's gonna happen to her. That is our main concern. I hope that the medical community comes up with something to improve the lives of people with LGMD. As I'm waiting for the clinical and preclinical work for LGMD, it's my daughter that's keeping me motivated. You want a kick? Do I want a kick? I can kick, can you kick for me? She's the reason that I haven't given up. My hope for the future is 
that my husband and my daughter and I that will be able to you know move out of my parents house to have our own place my goal is to be to be a normal mom <laughs> <laughs>